Good day kids! Here we are again with another episode of our Agriculture 6, Successful Animal Fish Raisers in the Country. I am your teacher James Bayo, and I hope you would listen attentively with the discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back and enjoy learning. Agriculture 6, Successful Animal Fish Raisers in the Country. Some practices of successful persons in animal and fish raising industries are important things that we need to know in order to be successful just like them. Let us try to find out and get inspired from their hard work, passion, and skills that led them to success. Successful animal raisers in the country. Oscar Guerin. His profession as a civil engineer did not stop him from going back to his original passion, that is raising sows or fully grown pigs in his backyard. In 1988, he started raising sows in a small piggery. Because of his dedication and hard work, his small piggery turned into a commercial hog farm with 500 sows. He named it Octagon Farm Product and Supply. He continued to raise other livestock animals like goat, cattle, sheep and even ventured into a production of poultry animals such as turkey, ducks and game fowl. Leonore Di Giucchini. She started farming by raising goats, chickens, and native cows in her 5, 5.0, hectare coconut-based farm at Barangay Datagan, Pagadian City, Bohol. The neighboring barangays enjoyed Mrs. Juckney's milk feeding program to preschoolers which she sponsors every month. She also conducts special milk feeding during summer months serving more children and pregnant mothers in the neighborhood. She is a living example of genuine community services and advocates of proper nutrition and the importance of milk to growing children and lactating mothers. Ronald Pasquale. He is a physical therapist, but instead of treating physical injuries and illnesses of people, Ronald Pasquale, 32, of Burijai, Poblacion Vinter, the Locus Norte finds contentment and financial success in piggery business. Ronald is the owner-manager of a modernized piggery farm located in Bacara, the Locus Norte. His journey to becoming a piggery tycoon began at age 13 when he started raising pigs, nurturing a dream of owning a brand new car of his own. Celestino Maninguit. He is the owner of Jossel's farm located at Sta, Catalina Bada, San Ildefonso, Bulacan. As the son of a farmer at his early age, he helped his father take care of their farm animals. When he was in high school, he found farming difficult, so he went to Manila to study. After graduating from college, he got married and worked as an OFW. Having saved enough money, he bought a farm and went back to cow raising until he became successful. In 2016, he was awarded as National God Soccer winner of Outstanding Large Animal Raisers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. Mamurdo Mandigma. He is only an ordinary farmer in Brajibali, Tarlok City with four children. One day, his son came to their house bringing a goat. They took care of the goat until he got interested in goat raising. Because of his passion and dedication, he was recommended by the Department of Agriculture, Tarlok to be one of the beneficiaries of the program. He was able to send his children to school and finish their studies.
successful fish raisers in the country. Vicente V. Lugage, a 53-year-old ordinary fish farm worker quit his job few years ago and put up his own tilapia hatchery in Burjai, Rizal Santiago City in Isabela. Through hard work and smart business sense, he became successful and awarded as the 2018 Godsaka winner in the fish culture category. He is the owner of J Farm, a tilapia hatchery that produces 300,000 to 500, 000 fingerlings a month, which are sold not only in Isabela, but also in other places in Nueva Vizcaya, Cagayan, Pampanga, and the Cordillera Administrative Region. Naminisa Rarong Ragasa. You would probably hardly believe that a lady nurse who went to work abroad to get away from the boring life she had in a fishing village has gone back to the village she disliked after 20 years. Now 16 years later, she has become a big-time Bangus producer, harvesting an average of 20 tons every day. She was called as the Bangus Queen of Andapangasinan. She also experienced difficulties in her business, but she did not give up instead, she continues with the help of an Garcia fish farm that operates not only its own fish cages in the towns of Anda and Sewell, it also rents other people's cages and fish pens. Martin Angelis. In 1992, he started with one small pond in Bustos, Bulacan. According to him before catfish, keto raising was so easy because problems were very minimal at the time, so the survival rate of fish was very high. But now because of the poor quality of soil, and continuous increasing of fungus inside the farm, big number of fish usually die. Like other fish raisers, he also experienced difficulties in managing his farm, but he did not stop until he achieved success. Other fish farm owners in the Philippines Activity time. Direction. Think of someone who became successful in either animal or fish raising in your community or province. Make a short story using the graphic organizer below. You may ask help from your parents for some information.
Remember, in order to succeed in any entrepreneurial activities like animal and fish raising, it is very important to plan first before implementing it. Some of the successful animal raisers in our country are Leonor Jukni, Ronald Pasqual, Celestino Maninguit, Oscar Guerin, and Mamerto Mandigma. Some successful fish raisers in the country are Vicente Lugege, Naminisa Raron Garcia, and Martin Angelis. All of them became successful because of their hard work, skills, and passion. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, James or Bayo for more educational videos. Till the next upload. Thank you.